Hi folks, this week I'm back on the fly tying bench. I've got a really, really small hook and I'm going to do a little smut pattern. Um, it was did a lot on small fisheries when those fish are just nosing up and down. But you might notice someone sitting on the side. It's my eldest daughter. She's been fed up of me tying at the bench and her just not being able to have a go. You want the scissors? <sighs> Dads, I'm going to give you a piece of advice here. If your kids go into fly tying, and it is a fantastic sport for them to do so, um, please start them. We've got just to get more youngsters into fishing and more youngsters into fly fishing, so I really encourage it. But, but please, for God's sake, if you've got capes that you value, if you've got jungle cock that you value, put them on, uh, under lock and key. Because what you value, they haven't got a clue how much it costs and they will lose everything and anything on even one fly. So be weary. Um, she does like the color pink. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, when we're fishing, we've got a preconceived idea of what colors we should use and what we shouldn't use. Sometimes it's very good to let youngsters go and just use their imagination and things that we'd never dream of, colors we would never dream of, patterns we wouldn't think about, they just come up with. Um, and I just let her carry on, really. What are you doing? Good. Okay. Yeah, you okay, that's you enough. Just just tidy him up. That. That's it. Let's get rid of a little bit of that, then you can go up. And the other thing is, you might as well forget your vice and your tying. Just help them out. Why are you going back? No, you've got to tidy the whole thing up, all the way up there first, to the eye, right? So you want a good bed for the body. Okay. Right, that's it, right? And then so you go back. Okay. we've got a nice pink tail, pink body. Right, well, I've got some dubbing, right? Show you to put it on. Okay. Just lift, lift that vice up a little bit. There we go. Right, now then. That's better. <laughs> Pull that down there. Oh, just, right, just leave it. Off. That's it, right? A little bit to start with. Because you don't want a big lump at the back end, <laughs> no, right? Just like... Slide that down there. Okay. Then you can add a bit more, right. like that. So I can thin layer like each yeah. time I go up, like that. Right. Okay. Then, if you wanted to go tight, just get that in there. Spin that round once, right? That right. that's locked that the fibers in there. Okay. And if you spin that there, yeah. see it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Yeah, I see. If you wanted to be just let it go so it gets loose again so it can be bigger. Okay. We'll just pull that a little bit less in, right, and then no gaps. Right. Work up. And to make this a simple one, right, we'll just put a different colour. Don't go, whoa, whoa. We need to bulk that front part up a little bit. You want it to come up a bit bigger at the front so end, yeah? Thin and like. Thinner the tail, building up to the head. Okay. Right, what colour at the head? We're just going to put floss. We're not going to put a hackle on it. There's no pink, so... No, you're not, you, no you want a different colour, black. like a trigger black. point. Black. We've got all... Do you want a bit of black? Yes. All right, we'll have to go in the other end. Right. And if you can hear that little voice, just whispering in the distance, that's a younger sister giving her a bit of advice. Don't worry, she's going to be at the vice as well. Aren't you, Tanya? Yeah, you want to have a go as well? Tanya. Right, okay, now then. Here we go. Put that on. Okay. Off you go. Oh, that's it. Just finishes it off with that trigger point there. Right, well, right, okay. Watch your head. <laughs> Pull everything back. Okay. Then... Pull it back out the way. Okay. Right? Then you can finish the head. Right, now then, off you go, whip finish. What do you mean? Oh, like that thing. I can't do that thing. What do you mean you can't do that thing? I can't do that thing. Right, let's get behind you. You have to do, 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 do Yeah, well, you have to do it with this hand, don't you? Right. Can't do it. There. There. There, so you create that like that number four. Right. Spin. Spin. Round. Spin. Twist your fingers round. Twist your fingers round. There. And again. There. Get the scissors to hold the tension. Okay. 
Pull it up. There you go. What are you going to call that? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. It's pink. Yeah. It's a pink. Ooh, there we go. Tanya's called it. The Pink Panther. <laughs> the Pink Panther. I tell you what, it's not a bad fly. Are you going to let Daddy use that? No. No? No. Where's that going? My box. Right. I'm going to use it when she's fishing. <sighs> there you go. She's going to use it when she goes fishing. Well, if you have got a child at home, and if they're at a loose end when you're tying flies, please put a vice next to you and let them have a go.